Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with IABA Communications, and today I want to talk to you about how you can use some really cool technology on your cell phone to make it make any sort of live presentation you want to make on YouTube or Facebook or make recordings look a little bit more professional to get your message across. <music> One of the things I find a lot of people do is they're using social media to help their social cause. Um, there's lots of people I know and I'm actually creating this video to help one, but I think this can help a lot of people. So I'm, I'm just going to post this on my YouTube tech page because I think it's going to help a lot of people. Uh, I am using a tool right now. I'm building this entire video on my iPad and I can bring in my titles and I can bring in my lower third. and Today, I'm going to talk about a very cool tool called Switcher Go. Now, Switcher Go is a free app. Um, if you want to stream, they want you to create an account, which doesn't cost anything. And if you just want to record, you don't even have to create an account. So let us take a quick look at that. A uh, quick overview. I have another cell phone here. Uh, there's the app right there in the corner. And I also have a... Oh. I have I have a phone, a cell phone over here. It's just a you know SE. It's an old older phone. You can get these sometimes refurbished for ninety nine dollars. And there's the app right there, downloaded for free from the App Store right there. And then I also have a copy of the screen. It's sideways. We'll we'll get back to that in a second. Now. What the first thing we're going to do is we're going to launch the app. And here you can see that it wants me to log in, create an account or go into record mode. For what we're doing, we're going to go we're going to go into the record mode. So let's touch that. Now, you can see that it's black, but it's black only because it's using the camera on the back of the phone. And we're just going to let it sit like that for now. Let's do a quick walk through here. This big red button in the corner, that's the record button. The be button below it, that's the camera button. So you can switch between the selfie camera, looking up at the phone that's taking this picture, and the front camera. Uh, the microphone, you can turn the microphone off, you can turn it on. Uh, down here, there's a star. A star brings up a menu of content that you can cut to. Let's flick that away. And then the next thing is a bunch of little sliders. The sliders are the camera controls. So on the rear camera, I can set it to manual focus. I can set it to the manual exposure, make it brighter or darker. I can go to manual white balance. I can turn the LED light on and off. Uh, we'll get to more of that in a moment. So let's turn the exposure back on auto and we'll leave the focus, put it back on auto exposure and flick this, flick this down. Auto, we'll flick it down to make it go away. So here is the interface, and it's actually quite easy to use. Let's go full screen on this. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the star. The star, again, that's my camera. So if I bring this up, you can see that's my camera view. We're going to leave it black just for now because it's sitting on the table. There's a little square with a plus to the right of it. We touch that square, it brings up anything that's already on the phone. Let us bring up a logo. I don't have a logo on this phone, but the switcher company has their logo in here. We're going to use this as a corner bug, just like that. And you could actually move it around any, anywhere you want. You want it on the left, you put it on the left. You want it on the right, you put it on the right. And then we're going to say, stay on top. Done. And there you can see now I have my camera. I have my first source. Now we want to have an opening graphic. This is where you would take some time, you would make something on the computer, PowerPoint, Word, Write, whatever, and then you would take a picture of your screen and bring it over here. We're just going to go get a picture. We go into photos and just grab a photo that I happen to have on here. Let us grab, a, I don't know, wow, got a lot of things in here. Let us grab a graphic just like that. And we're going to use it as an image. 
Now, this has got a bunch of black around it, and we can say fill the frame. So tap this right up here, fills the frame, we're done. Let us grab another graphic. We got photo, and let us do another graphic like that. It's different, uses an image, fill the frame, done. And then you can do one more thing. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna add, we're gonna add a video. Let's just say you created a short video, has a call to action. Uh, we're just gonna do like a little, let's grab one of these, see if these are on here. Uh, it's not on my device, see this is, this is the cloud. So these things aren't actually on my phone. So let us grab uh, that. That's just a little screen recording, done. But it's a video. Now I have a video, two stills, a lower third, and my camera. And I can switch between these things. So if I want to start on a graphic, I touch the graphic. There's my graphic. It fills the frame. If I want to add the lower third or the corner bug, you tap that and it comes up. If you flick this out of the way, you can see it's over here. Touch the star, it comes back up, and I can fade it out. Now this is the horizontal view. And you can easily work in the horizontal view, cut to the camera, cut to reverse angle camera. This all works, it doesn't matter which camera it is, you can flick this out, bring it in, put up your graphic, you can see the graphic there. And this way, if you were doing something live, you can see yourself and you know how things are framed and you can talk with someone. That's what the good selfie camera is good for. And you can see your audio meters, you can see all that. Whereas if you wanna show something else and you wanna interview someone else, you could hit the little camera button and now you're interviewing them and you still have the ability to tap, start with a graphic, go to camera, go to a different graphic, go to camera, and then you could end with your video and, turn the, and then go back to camera. So you have that ability to like switch a whole show right here on the bottom. But the only problem is the icons sort of take over the screen. A really cool feature of this app is it works in vertical mode. So let's do, look at the close-up of that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my on-screen, take that live. So now you can see, uh, let me switch that, switch that camera around to me. Hi. So I'm talking to you and I'm holding the camera vertically here. You can see right here. I'm holding the camera vertically and the video that I'm taking with this camera is horizontal. So this way I can be holding the camera, talking to people, but at the bottom of the screen, I'm very easily able to touch the other sources with my thumb and cut between the starting graphic. Ready? Cut to me. Hey, we're here live. I just want to tell everybody what's going on. We've just been meeting with very important people and we're trying to convince them we're here all day today. This is the location we're at. Please come down. Please uh, join with us. Please have your voice be heard. Uh, here, take a look at this video. And that's literally how easy it is to do a kind of really professional looking uh, production in the palm of your hand. Now, Let's actually walk through doing this, just so you can see how we're gonna do this. Let's take the graphic out. Take the graphic out. There we go, it's fading out. And cut to my overhead, just so you can see. When it's in my hand, I can easily tap, go to graphic, go to the other graphic, go to camera, bring up the lower third, go to graphic, other graphic, play video. So you can see how easy it is to, to see everything you know, to see all the sources and see the program that I'm working on as well. So let's start with the camera and with the graphic app, or let's start with an opening graphic like this and turn off the lower third. So uh, let's cut to here and we will actually hit the record button this time. So, hey, here we are live. I want to tell everyone that we are down here and we are meeting with important people and we need your help. Come down to where we are here. Here is a picture of the address and the location. We are meeting all day today. We really need your help.
come down here, call, write in, send in your information. And if you want to get more involved and find out what we're doing, here's a graphic for our website and other information. And here's a short video. It is as simple as that. I stopped recording and now we're going to take that and we're going to send it. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to bring this over here so you can see over my shoulder. There's three little lines over here in the corner. You touch those three little lines. You want to do recorded media. Okay, this is the second try because this app will let you do three or four tries to make sure you get it right. You take that last one. There it is. And then down at the bottom, you want to send it to the photo library. You're going to send it. It's going to transfer it from its own protected folder over to the library. We then exit here, go to our photos. Got it. And there is the video right there. Actually, that's the last video we did. And then from here, it's available to Facebook, to you can upload it to YouTube, you can send it anywhere you want to. You can share it with other people directly from the phone. You can do all of that. And that is how you're able to use today's technology, even on a mobile phone, and present something that has your organization's logo in the corner, that has call to action videos, that has uh, slides with information, and has graphics, uh, PNG graphics that have a clear background with somebody's name or uh, the event or things like that that you can have at the bottom of the screen the whole time. That way you can really make your little selfie videos look a lot more professional. My name is Anthony Barocas and I am with Aiba Communications and as always I say thanks for watching. Thank you.